Hello, good afternoon, dear children. As usual, let's write dictation first. Are you ready? Did you study the words? There are 10 words today. See? See the board? Right. You should write the number. Put the date, write the number, and write the uh, English word. Uh, put dictation on the top. The word dictation on the top. Dictation. Right? And start writing. Okay. You pause the video and start writing. Right? Hope you have finished now. Let's discuss. You should help me, my dear. Right, first one, what did you write? That's right, forest. How do you write forest? F-O-R-E-S-T, forest. Number two, a verb. What is it? Save. That's right, save. Save. Right. Third one, an animal. Wolf. Wolf. Next one. Shepherd. How do you write shepherd? Shepherd. Okay. Number five. Light. Guru is also light. Guru Kinama also light. Number six. You should mark your books. Mark your books yourself, my dear. Number six, villager. Right? Villager, villager. Right? Number seven, trip. Trick. Trick. It's a trick. We learned it. Trick. Number eight. Ooh. Then and green. Last time. There. There. Right. Right. Forest. Sail. Wolf, shepherd, lion, villager, trick, who, and then where. Put marks out of 10. Draw your happy face also. Right. Okay, who got 10 out of 10? Okay, well done. I can see your hands. Well done, very good. The 9 out of 10, 9. They are also good. 8 out of 10, very good. 7, okay, good. Yes, you should do corrections. Right, do the correction also. Okay. Then shall we start today's lesson? Okay. Let's move on to our pupils book then soon.
Right here, page number 22. Page number 22. Okay. Here you can see a poem. Uh, let's go to see our friend Happy Cloud first. Lesson 5. Listen and clap. Right. See in the cloud. Yes, let's read the words. B, beep, jeep, wheel, sheep, sleep. B, beep, jeep, wheel, sheep, sleep. Right? Okay. Here, um, the poem is. B and sheep. B and sheep. He is called B and sheep. Yes, by Susan Johns. You can see the name of the poet. Susan Johns, right? Susan Johns. Okay. Now uh, you can see some circled words. I'm going to read. You should follow me. Let's read first. Here you can see letter E. E sound here. Yeah. Letter E, E sound. See? Now let's read. B and sheep got in their jeep. They drove all night and didn't sleep. One wheel fell off and rolled away. They beeped the horn. The rest of the way. The rest of the way. Right? Again. B and sheep. They were two friends. There were two friends called B and sheep. B and sheep were friends. Right? Uh, they got their jeep. They took their jeep and drove all night. They uh, went somewhere in the jeep, by the jeep, right? And didn't sleep. They didn't sleep even the night. They drove all the night, all night, right? Then what happened to the jeep? One wheel fell off, then rolled away. Here yes, something has happened to the jeep and one wheel fell off fell off and rolled away. Then uh, there were only three wheels remain, right? They beep the horn. So it is so dangerous to drive uh, in three wheels, right? Not in four wheels. They uh, drove only in three wheels, right? So they, sh they ha had to beep. They had to uh, beep using the horn. They horned. Continuously they horned. The rest of the way until the destination, till to the, till to the destination, they uh, beeped. Right? Because it is, it was so dangerous. One wheel fell, as one wheel fell off. Right. Now, the thing that you have to do here is, you will read with, uh, with me uh, the poem, the lines, and clap when the circled words are pronounced. Here you can see some circled words. When you hear the circled word, you should uh, give a clap, right? Because they are here. Get the student to listen to the vowel sound E and a clap. Here, the sound, you can see the long vowel sound, E sound, B, sheep, G, sleep, wheel, B, like that, right? Okay, now let's do with the clap, right? Okay, B and sheep, you also do with me, you also can clap. Let's start once again. B and sheep got in their jeep. They drove all night and didn't sleep. One wheel fell off 
and rolled away. They beat the horn the rest of the way. Once again, bee and sheep got in their jeep. They drove all night and didn't sleep. One bee fell off and rolled away. They beat the horn the rest of the way. Okay. So nice. Well done. Right. The sound is E sound. E sound. Long vowel sound. E. Sheep. Jeep. Sleep. Will. Beeped. Right. Okay. Let's go down. Yes. Our next activity. In page. Uh, they are page 23. 23. Right. See. It's also a game. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. See, let's play a game. Yes, what do you mean by let's play a game? Api kridava karamu. Let's api karamu. Suggestion. Yes, what is it? Scavenger hunt game. The name of the game is scavenger hunt game. Yes, you should go to the garden and find some objects. Here you can see some objects, some uh, round objects. See, round, round objects, something colorful. You can find the objects which are colorful, something not heavy, some objects not heavy like feathers, leaves, like that. But are colorful objects in the garden? Flowers, and leaves, sometimes there may be leaves also. Round objects, uh, stones, fruits, right? Then plastic objects, something made of wood, right? Something yellow, yellow color. Then yellow color objects, something green. And uh, some, add some. Sorry, add more things. Use this activity to introduce new vocabulary to them. Right. Let's see. Take the students out into the garden. Ask them to form groups of three. Yes, you should make, we should make groups of three. Right. If you are in a classroom, we will do these things. Then give the group a list of things to find from the school garden. Uh, you have to go out in the classroom. Then you should find the things. Here you can see a list of things. Uh, the, you can see the title. You should collect some objects according to the list here. Right? Give them some reasonable time to find the objects. Find the object and to report back after they have to re returned. Ask them to describe the things they have found. How do you describe? Now, uh, suppose you go out and collect three of you, two of your friends, and you go out. And uh, there's a list in your hand, and you collect some things. Yes, in the school garden. Then uh, you, uh, after some times, you uh, return. You come back to the classroom, and how do you describe the things? How do you describe? Tell me. Yes, you should say, I have found. You can use the sentence structure. I have found. I have found a feather. Or you can say, I've got a feather. I've got a round stone. I've got a flower. I have found a leaf. What do you mean by a leaf? Right. I've got a um, fruit. I have found what else? What are the things you can collect? You uh, you will find in the school garden. Yes. Okay. Some yellow things, green things, some, uh, maybe uh, grass, green grass or yellow. Uh, yellow flower, right? These are the things that you collect. You should collect in the school garden, right? Then uh, 
the one who collected more items more things is the uh, is the best one they are the winners the group that collected more items are the winners okay you should uh, give the sentence i have found in this way i have but i have found right okay we we will do these things later when you will meet the teacher and the school friends right okay our next activity lesson 7 read and match see page 23 24 my dear 24 and also in 25 see that's a, a nice activity right see here in this side, you can see some creatures, some animals, animal friends. Let's see. What are the animals you can see? Here you can see a bee, a bird, a grasshopper, a frog, a snail, a rabbit. Who is this? A spider, a squirrel. And who is this? Worm, a worm. Okay, a worm is also at the end, right? Okay, yes. Now we are going to read the description here. See? Uh, you can see the words in this side also. Let's read the words. Bird, bee, squirrel. Squirrel, snail, frog, worm, worm, grasshopper, snail, spider, spider, right? Okay, and now the description. See, read after me. It walks slowly. It has a house on it. It walks slowly. It has a house on it. Yes, see, who is that animal? Yes, very good. It is the snail. It walks slowly. The snail can walk only. It can walk slowly only, right? And it has a house. This is the snail's house at the back on it right yes snail this is the word snail right you should draw the picture and label write the name and write the here uh, you should write the instructions or not the instructions you should write the uh, description the information about the uh, animal right me torturutically unknown animal bandi known yagan amali unknown it was me mystery unknown description right then what uh, let's see the second one see it has three lines on its back it has three lines on its back again okay? it has three lines on it its back. It comes to eat fruit in a garden. It has three lines on its back. Who has three lines? Let's see. Ah, see, we can see the squirrel. It has three lines on its back. Yes, you know those three lines on its back. And it comes to eat fruits in our garden. Every time you can see this uh, squirrel, this squirrel in your garden, early morning, uh, every day we can see squirrel. What is the word? Where is the word squirrel? Here, see? Squirrel. 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 R-R-E-L. Squirrel. Right. The next one, third one, come on. It is an insect. It is an insect. 
It is small and green. It has two antennae. Two antennae. 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 Here also you can see two antennae. In the mirror, feelers, antennas. It is an insect. It is small and green. Yes, maybe this one, insect. One. It has two antennae. Here you can see two antennas. Who is this? This is a grasshopper. That's right, a grasshopper. Where? Where's the word? You see here, grasshopper. Grasshopper. Okay, grasshopper. 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 Okay, next one. See. This this one, number four. See, it collects nectar from flowers. It collects nectar from flowers. It lives in a hive. Hive, beehive. Can you remember? You learned the hive in grade four also. Beehive. It collects nectar from flowers. Nectar, malpeni. Who is this insect? It collect nectar, malpani collect karma from flowers. It lives in a hive. Hive. Hive kya ni? Nima sangi ge. Beehive. Why? Beehive ke liye hai ni. Who is that? See. Okay. This one is the bee. Bee can collect nectar from flowers. Malpani ge ni anu pulu amme aata. It lives in a hive. Yeah, in a hive. Nivade. Right? Okay. Then it has no legs. It lives in a soil. It has no legs. It lives in the soil. Soil means you know this word we learned. Who is that? Yes, that is the worm here. How do you write worm? See. W-O-R-M. W-O-R-M, but worm, not worm. Worm, let me put a worm. Worm. Again, worm. Worm, not worm. Worm, right? Then, see, it has wings. It can fly even. It has a beak. Beak, you know. It has a beak. It can fly also. It has wings. Who is that? There you saw the beautiful one. Most beautiful one is the bird. Bird, right? Bird. Okay, but then it has a green body. It jumps high up. It lives in a pond. It has a green body. The body is green. It jumps high up. It can jump up. It can jump up. It lives in a pond. Who lives in the pond? Yes, the, our green colored body has the frog, see the word frog, frog, okay. Then last, before the last, it lives in a web, web. It eats insects. Here, see, it lives in a web. You know the word web. It eats insects. Insects lava kanamalumia. You can see even in the picture. It is the spider. Here, yeah, the word is spider. Spider, 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 spider is the word. Right? Last one. It has long ears. 
It likes to eat carrots. It has long ears. It likes to eat carrots. Yes, I am the rabbit, the most innocent animal in the forest. Rabbit. You got the word? Where is it? Couldn't find. Spider. Can't see the word. The word is not given, I think. Rabbit. The word is rabbit. How do you write rabbit? Let's write the word rabbit. Rabbit. R A R A B Rab B I T bit. Right. Let's see from the beginning. First animal with that. Let's see the animals from the beginning. Here you can see bee, bird, grasshopper, frog, snail, rabbit, spider, squirrel, worm. Right, worm. Okay, now let's Move on to our workbook, my dear. They are page number 18. 18. 18, 19, and 20. See? Right. See? Lesson four, find and circle the words, right? Uh, we did this one. We did, uh, did, uh, we did these things last day, last uh, Friday. Uh, you wrote the words for dictation today also. You have to find out the words. Villagers, yes. Field, sheep, trick, help. Forest, shepherd, and wolf. Yes, take a nice color pencil and uh, circle. Have circles. There you can see a long snake. You should find the words. These words are in the uh, body of the snake. Do this one nicely and send me through WhatsApp. Send me back the activities uh, today. Send me back all the activities that we uh, all the activities that we discussed today, right? Send me back after doing all, right? See, lesson five, listen and jump. Listen and jump. You have to select two trees. Two trees. See? Take the students to the playground. Select two trees that are close to each other or place two chairs. Otherwise, you can put two chairs instead of trees. Mark one as sheep and the other as sheep. Ask the students to move to the tree according to the sound of the words. Uh, then the teacher says the word aloud. Students have to jump to the relevant tree. Right? You can use uh, these two words, sheep and sheep. Mill and meal, or sit and seat, still and steal, chip and cheap, bit and beat, tin and teen, pick and peak, bean and bean, lip and leap. Right? You can add more words like this. Select two words only. Teacher says the word, and the students have to jump to the correct word. Right? Okay, very interesting game. We will do these things when we meet in the school one day, right? Yeah, put there here. You should write these two sets. Uh, here you can see it sound short vowel sound words, short vowel sound words. 
Chip, mill, sink, steel, chip, bit, tin, pick, bin, lip. E sound words. All are e sound words. Here in this side, cheap, me, see, steam, cheap, beat, team, peak, bean, and leaf. Long e sound words, right? Okay. You divide your extra activity book into two. Extra activity book is the same as the line. You can see the line. You can see the line. Short vowel sound words. The other side, you should write all the long vowel sound, long E sound words, short E sound and long E sound words, right? Can you do it as a homework? Can you do it? I'll send up the work through WhatsApp also. I'll send up the word list through WhatsApp. You should send me back the activity that you uh, do, right? Then uh, the next one. Here you should let's make a poster. Let's make a poster. Here also you can see a craft activity. Here you should take a blue colored bristle board and make our world. Our world. You have to take a blue colored bristle board and you should draw our glob in the middle. In uh, glob in the middle and color it in green. Right? And you should draw or paste objects in the in the earth and the uh, sky. Sky ye ke tiye ni mas sky ye ke alavan noni. Earth ke tiye ni ma earth ke alavan nona. Right? We will uh, select the best one, best one, and we can pin up the poster. In the wall in your classroom, right? Okay, you can uh, paste, you can do it a little bit creative way in a creative way because you can stick in, you can stick blue wool or uh, you can uh, stick the things in the earth, in the earth as the river. River with blue, uh, blue wool, wearing river ekalavanalu, earth the kathuli. Glitter for stars. Last year we did this nicely, very nicely. The Aurudya Pilasan to Mima Kerala classroom, okay, paste color. Right, put the stars in the sky and cotton wool for clouds, cloud and then a pulang cotton wearing blue uh, paint for sea, mudaval dan pulang or earth the kapidanami. Earth ke tiye na makila mudaval tiye na reservoirs, rivers, waterfalls, wagi jalaasha tiye na mudaval tiye na and lakes, bill green for fields, pula pata kumburu tiye na etc. When everyone has finished, pin up the posters to the wall and go around the class asking questions about the things drawn or pasted on the bristle board. Right, you we can discuss the things right in the past. Okay, the things in the, in the earth and the things in the sky. Okay, see lesson seven. Look and write. See now we are doing this activity. See, look and write. These animals come to our garden. Who are they? Let's see who are they. They are the animals. Now you should fill the blanks. First one. Who is in the first picture? Yes. It's a worm. That's right. How do you write worm? W-O-R-M. That's right. W-O-R-M. Right. First word. What is it? Worm. You fill the word. When I uh, spell the word, you feel the word. Worm, how do you feel? How do you write the spellings? W O R M. Right. You fill the blank and send me, send, send me back the page. W O R M. The next one. Who is this? 
Yes, it's a squirrel. How do you write? S Q U I R R E L. Come on, next one, rabbit. R A B B I T. Correct. Frog. F A O G. A long word. Yes, what is it? Brass hopper. Brass. How do you write brass? G G. Yeah, not J G. G R O. Sorry. G R A A. G R A S S. Grass. G R A S S. Grass hop. Yeah, hop kran puluang. Hop. H O P P E A. G R A S S H O P P E A. Grasshopper. See, this one is a B. B I R D. B I R D. Right, bird. Then, spider. How do you write spider? Spell the word spider is P I D E A. Spider. Then, next. B, B, E, E, B, snail, S, N, A, I, L, snail, again, S, N, A, I, L, right, okay, my dear, now I'm going to put the words for dictation, right, let's write the words, and, uh, Grade three word list also will be put on the board now. Are you ready? You take your uh, vocabulary book and write these things for dictation, right? Okay, first one, so easy word set. One is bird. You write. Then B. Third one. Spirit. Frog, snake, number five, yes, come on, what is it, frog, number six, yes, word, W O R E. The word is W O R E. But yes, underline this letter all here. But you should pronounce it as worm. One one. Number seven. Grass. Hopper. Number eight, snail. Snail is written in two times. Isn't that so, my dear? Uh, the eighth word should be rabbit, not snail. The word should be should be changed into rabbit. Oh. And then number nine, spider. Right? There are, all together, there are nine words. Shall we read these things again? Yes, you should follow me. Bird, 
bee, squirrel, snail, frog, worm, grasshopper, rabbit, spider. Right? Again, bird, bee, squirrel, snail, frog, worm, grasshopper, rabbit, and spider. Grade 3. Uh, bird list also will be sent through WhatsApp uh, today. Right, okay? Uh, pause the video and write these things, my dear. Okay, get ready for dictation. Practice these words very well at home. I'll wind up now. Uh, you should complete your activities nicely and send me back through WhatsApp. Right, okay? Okay, see you next time, my dear. Goodbye. Have a nice day.